Here's a question for you tonight. Can you smell it in your favorite coffee shop, that pumpkin latte spice, the special peppermint blend? And what about those Christmas carols being piped in even before you've digested your Thanksgiving leftovers? Well, tonight here, baristas bearing it all about what goes on behind the counter. Here now, Nick Watt. The holidays are coming. I can tell just by visiting the coffee shop. Chestnut praline, cinnamon hazelnut, peppermint mocha, winter warmers. But hold off on the caramel brulee eggnog gingerbread frappuccino. I made that one up. Hold off until you've heard our insiders, our baristas coming clean, tell us how to get the most out of our holiday fix. Baristas are basically drug dealers. Former barista Haley and current barista Max say you and I are the addicts. So when the, you know, junkie comes to get his fix, he's not going to be super polite. He's just really focused on getting what he's there for. So Max and Haley created this video. It's a parody of I Dreamed a Dream from the musical Les Miserables. Wait your turn and stay in line. We all have a place to be. Now I shall drink the drink. They call themselves Les Miserabaristas. It was all my pent up sadness and frustration. <laughs> and I took it to a creative outlet. There's one instance in which this lady was telling me, you don't know what you're doing. And so I went ahead, took the caramel drizzle, and I wrote the letters <laughs> F U on top. <laughs> so if you've been rude, check your pumpkin spice latte for hidden messages. Then there's this guy. I had a customer threaten to stab me one time. Let's call him Bill. He still works at Starbucks and writes a blog called Your Barista Hates You. He insists on full disguise because he fears he'll get fired for spilling the beans. Our number one tool in the arsenal is definitely the decaf button. They'll decaf you when you order caf. Just out and out rudeness is a quick way to get a decaf shot. They will steal your buzz away from you. I've given decaf to people who wanted the extra caffeine. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> See, the problem for a barista, though, is that you're out in the open. You're not back in the kitchen where you can spit in the soup. If someone's being particularly, like, rude, you can add little extra charges. <laughs> like, normally, if you say, I want a latte with caramel, vanilla, and chocolate. The barista could charge you just once for a wee dash of each, or if you're unpleasant, charge you three times. That's like a dollar difference, at least. So, you're being nice, you're not gonna get decaf, but how do you get the most caffeine possible maximum buzz for your buck? Apparently not with this. The Frappuccinos are mostly ice, very little coffee. Our profit margin on Frappuccinos is huge. And when it comes to lattes at Starbucks, just order the medium. The large doesn't have more caffeine, just more steamed milk. Whatever your choice may be, we were told to go for a light roast. Dark roast has less caffeine. Dark roast, less caffeine. Executive coffee chef Jeremy Gersey, yes, that's now a thing, knows his roasts. According to Jeremy, iced coffee can be the most potent. This is my pride and joy. This is a Kyoto eight hour cold filter drip. That is delicious. Oh my goodness, there's texture, it's kind of, oh yeah. Like a fine bourbon. Clearly, I'm now an expert, but the real experts, the baristas we talk to, they say you, the customer, really have no idea what you're drinking. There are the select few who are truly coffee aficionados, but the vast majority of my customers actually don't really know anything. Coffee. Remember that Folgers commercial from the 80s from before we got all fancy pants about a cup of joe? We're secretly replacing the fine coffee usually served here with rich, dark, sparkling Folgers crystals. We did something similar at local favorite Phil's in Santa Monica. We lined up a cup of supermarket standard, five cents a cup, a premium java from a well-known coffee chain, two or three bucks, and a third, the most expensive coffee on earth. It's a blind tasting. Are you like a coffee type guy? I, I drink coffee every day. Patrick guessed this is the most expensive. Price Confident. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh man. It's the cheapest. Patrick, we have a total failure. Oh, that's great. <laughs> I hope I don't get this wrong. <laughs> I hope you do. Take your time, okay. swill it around, do whatever you need okay. to do. Ashley guessed the coffee chain coffee was the most expensive. It's not far from it. So 
Maybe we really don't know what we're drinking. And what is that mystery, most expensive coffee on earth? This. This expensive one, obviously. $75 a cup. This one? Is that that coffee that the bean comes out the monkey butt? Nate, clearly a connoisseur, was almost right. Indonesian civet cats eat coffee berries they ferment inside and out poops the beans. Nate, by the way, nailed the taste test, but still thinks that maybe coffee chain coffee isn't quite worth it. So do I think like I'm getting fleeced and used? Of course. But will I continue to do it? Of course. The Barista Guild of America told us since the invention of coffee drinking by the Ethiopians, making coffee for another person has been a deeply caring and personal act. This is a real organization, by the way. We use service skills to help us navigate challenging customer interaction. As for Starbucks, one of the most admired companies in the world, it told us it is appalled by Bill the Barista's claims of decapping rude customers. The behavior described would not be tolerated and is not reflective of the character of our 300,000 partners around the world. How do you get on your barista's good side? Know what you want before you get to the register. Good tip. And speaking of tips... Tipping also helps. Oh, yes. Like, if you if you put in that dollar, we will remember you. But... Saying, how are you back, is really nice. And, by the way, our bearded confessor tells us that if you order a coffee on a holiday and tell a barista, too bad you have to work today, you most definitely will get decaffed. So, don't be a dope. You might even get a treat, even sweeter than three pumps of peppermint. People I liked, I would reward, give them a little extra whipped cream or draw a little smiley face on their cup. <laughs>